In today's video, you will watch me do two attempts at the dust pan pour. Yes, you heard me, dust pan. Was this technique challenging? Yes. Crazy unexpected result. The colors though, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna love this one. Hello everyone, it's Camille. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'll be doing another collaboration with the Little Pouring Art family. Each month a participant will choose the technique, the canvas and the colors that we should use in today's collaboration. We were allowed to use three to four colors of our choice um, plus one shade of blue and of course the base color counts as one color. So today I'll be using yellow, bright blue, um, white as my base and a custom made teal and some copper which is metallic. So this is a, my color combination and I'll be using a 10 by 20 inch canvas. All right guys, so this is so fun and um, different for me. This is my first time doing the dustpan pour. I have watched several videos. I have seen how they do it on YouTube. Uh, you know, there's the artists who pour the paint in layers in a cup first and then they would layer that they would just pour it into the dustpan and then onto the canvas but i've also seen other artists um done it the way i'm doing it right now which is just layering the paint in the dustpan itself and guys i'm telling you i probably you know should have just layered the colors in the cup and make it into a dirty pour you know into the dustpan but hey i gotta think big right <laughs> I gotta think crazy and say, okay, no, Camille, go ahead and just put those colors, just layer them all in the dustpan. And this is a small dustpan, as you guys can see. Um, you all, well, you will notice when I'm um, putting the, the colors onto the canvas. So this is my 10 by 20 inch canvas, and um, it already has the base color, which is white on it. And yes, guys, I will be, you know, spreading that paint with the dustpan. I love what was happening here, you know, um, but it was very challenging. I lost all my yellow. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, where's my yellow, right? Because you guys saw me pour yellow in the dustpan, right? So this is what I was saying. I wasn't really too happy with this, you know, and even after torching, nothing. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I wasn't too thrilled about this. I was like really disappointed. I lost my yellow because I really want my yellow to really um you know be a part of this color combination so what did i do next you guys have to stick around and watch to the end and let me tell you guys you know i do love collaborations you know why it takes you out of your comfort zone and if you guys have been watching any of my videos you guys know that i love my flowers you know i do various uh, flower techniques my spoon technique uh flower dip you know um the chain pull techniques i love doing flowers so after seeing this not a success for me i just went and used a blow dryer to blow out um you know the colors that was already in the canvas because i know the yellow is underneath there and even though i was tilting it it just wasn't you know so i, I thought that you know let me just uh just go ahead and blow it up with the blow dryer so that's what i'm doing right now and there you have it the colors start to the yellow that is start to appear even the teal starts to appear a little bit more so i do love the fact that the yellow was you know um, appearing after that failed att attempt to me this was a failed attempt you know because if you do watch the dustpan pour you will see that um the artists when they're doing it all their colors pretty much appear especially when they layer the colors in the cup and then pour it onto the dustpan and then onto the canvas so yeah this is something new I've no, i don't think anybody's done this i just didn't want to scrape my canvas you know so i thought i'd go ahead and just blow it out with the blow dryer so what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below so like i said in the beginning guys this is my first attempt 
I will be doing a second attempt because I really wanted to get it you know like pour the paint from the dustpan and then just spread it without having to blow it out to get my colors to appear right so i went and did it a second time and i want you guys to let me know um if you love it what do you think about it just leave me a comment in the comment section or you know if, let me know if you think i should have done it differently maybe i should have put all the colors in the cup and then do a dirty pour you know let me know guys this is my first time actually doing it and um yeah i really wanted to share with you and i'm and i'm so grateful to the little pouring art family on facebook that really um did um you know this today's collaboration today's challenge it was a challenge i want to say thank you to sherry who, who was the winner for this month that came up with this uh technique and all that you know and the colors that we should choose including the blue all right guys so this is a close-up of the wet result let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this the color combination i have to say i love it i love the frilliness of the edges you know how i blow it up with the blow dryer i love it i love the touch of copper right there it's just amazing it's beautiful so let me know guys what you think about this one and stay tuned for the second pour coming up next So here is the beginning of the second pour uh, i'll be layering the colors a little bit different on the dustpan i didn't use any white on the dustpan and i'll be also using less yellow so after um, doing the second attempt and um you know thinking to myself oh my goodness i probably should have really put the colors in a cup first and then pour it out onto the dustpan and then onto the canvas but you know me i just wanted to keep at it all right so this is what i'm trying to show you guys as well too that um, as an artist we do have our challenges and we do try stuff um, that's new to us and we learn you know we have to try and learn and you know keep at it so i know if you guys are trying a technique out there and you feel like you're not getting it you feel like you want to give up I'm here to tell you don't give up all right so i'm showing you my challenges and i'm glad that I, I i went with this collaboration because you know i've never done it before and i get to record this and show you guys a part of my journey that hey you know we all are new at something so this is what i'm showing you guys today that this is new for me and i really wanted to share my experience so let me know guys what you have to say about this one in the comment section below i i like the way um it you know it looked when i when i did spread it onto the canvas and uh but of course yes was i happy with it i was a bit happy but i don't know it <laughs> it's spreading it out right now i do love it but it was just not what i had in mind all right because where did my teal go all i'm seeing is a little yellow dot right there and uh some wavy um lines of uh, copper and bright blue but where is my teal so my colors just didn't mix well and uh, i just wasn't a hundred percent happy with it and they can see me tilting it trying to spread the colors and oh my goodness i really still was not a hundred percent all right guys so let me know what you guys would have done differently uh let me know in the comment section below so not being a hundred percent happy with this one i went with my spoon to swipe just to alter just to modify this painting a bit to see if i could bring the colors out just too much bright blue too much uh copper so i was just trying to create something different you know so i was swiping it with the spoon along the outer edges so i just wanted to fiddle with it use my spoon 
you know sometimes this is what we do we keep playing around especially when things doesn't go as planned you know guys i want to let you know that sometimes you just have to just go with the flow right um you just have to just go with it uh, at the end of the day there's no wrong way um to make art you know i'm just having fun and i could have been like really mad with myself or disappointed with myself and say you know what come and scrape this because sometimes when we scrape it it's the last um resort and it's the last thing like we've tried something we've tried to fix it we tilt it more just to get the result that we want so like i said guys there's just no wrong way to make art all right so if you know a technique and you want to just make it your own make it your own okay guys so you can see me right now i there was a lot going through my mind as i said guys i wanted to just scrape it but i said let me just try this first okay i don't want to go waste my paint because yes the fluid art is very expensive it's a very expensive uh hobby or passion or you know it's it's very expensive and you really don't want to waste your paint okay and you know but it's a learning experience at the end of the day so that's what i'm saying guys go with the flow all right and just have fun with it and make it your own there is remember there is just no wrong way to make art so here i am <laughs> not happy with whatever was going on up top there so here i am guys guys i'm crazy okay can i tell you so i went with my paper napkin okay and here i am just dipping it because i'm thinking okay let me see if i can create some design something like a flower dip let me see what's gonna happen all right guys let's see what happened i lift it and was i happy with it you guys let me know but like i said guys there's just no wrong way to do art you're learning as you go and you want to try new things so this is what i'm doing guys i'm showing you i could have you know delete this or crap it i'm like oh, oh you guys should have heard me i was screaming i'm like camille look at the mud it's so muddy all that teal all i'm seeing is teal where did all the color go you know so i, I decided okay you know what i am just gonna pour some more colors back into that uh, mess that i just made so all right guys that's what i've that's, that's that's what i did to fix it i pour some more colors and just watch to the end i'm gonna be quiet now i just want you guys to enjoy the rest of the video and um, enjoy the music in the background all right guys so let me know if you do prefer the second pour or the first pour what would you have done differently let me know in the comment section below
all right guys here's a close-up of the wet result for the second pour you know i do like honestly the color combination that i chose for this is just amazing you know yellow and blue when mixed together obviously give you green but it's just the perfect green i love it and i am seeing my yellow right but so guys let me know the the blow dryer save the day right guys the blow dryer saved the day for me. I didn't have to scrape this. I didn't have to waste my paint. Well, I'm not going to say waste, <laughs> but I didn't have to scrape it. I am actually happy with it. You know, I am. Um, I'm just happy. The colors are beautiful and I do love the edges, you know, of the blowout. I do love the frilliness. I love, I just love the color combination about this piece, guys. So let me know in the comment section below what you prefer, what you love um um do you prefer the first video the second video uh should i have done it differently let me know in the comment section below okay guys here is a close-up of the dried result i'm hanging them both together so you can see that you know what yes they are the same color combination they're matchy matchy like what canela syrup would say <laughs> but i do love the color combination i do love the copper in this i do love how the blowout how it look with the blow dryer how it give it that nice um beautiful blend of colors i love it this is the first pour that i did and as you can see you know the colors does cover the entire canvas not a lot of negative space on this i was hoping to get some negative space um you know but it's kind of balanced it's not symmetrical but you know i'm okay with having the white edges on on both sides so i am okay with that you know this doesn't look like what other artists has done with a dust and pour but it's just my way of doing it and uh it was a failed attempt and then i went and did blow it out with the blow dryer so i'm quite happy with that all right so um, check out the second pour coming up now. I do love how I swipe that section with the spoon. It's very um, different, <laughs> very interesting. I do love it. I uh, the, the the bright blue contrasting with that copper. Oh my goodness! I love the color combination. And then the mix with the yellow and the blue give you that shade of green. It's amazing. And the teal all the colors they just blended well and i love it i love the outer edges the frilliness i do love it and then when i talk about the balance you know with the white on both sides of the painting gives it that uniform look that i was looking for so that's why i said that bow painting is kind of matchy matchy you know it's beautiful i i love i just i'm loving it guys you know I'm happy that I kept this one. Will I give the dustpan pour another try? Definitely. I will definitely give it another try, guys. And I'm so happy that you guys get to stick around and watch me do a nice collaboration. And you guys can go ahead and check out the other participants, their channel name. There's some YouTuber taking place in today's collaboration and some are just on facebook so I'll, all the participants will be listed in my description box below guys you can check that out so i want to say thank you guys for watching with me staying with me to the end of today's video and of course go ahead and give me a like if you do like this one share with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribers yet please do so hit that notification bell check out my playlist and i will see you guys for my next video on camilla moy art Bye.